Okay, so just a little bit of a wrap up. Uh, we've ridden these two bikes back to back. We swapped, what, a dozen times? Yeah, if that. And we're out here in the desert. It, we haven't had hardly anything that was like really technical. There were a couple of things that were a little bit technical, but for the most part, it was just fast, flowy stuff in the whoops, in high speed turns. And round one of 250 versus 300, I think goes to the 250, right? Absolutely. On the 300 again, um, the 250 is just a little bit more free flowing. This 300 is unbelievable and has great handling, very quick, very nimble, very light, very agile. I love it, but the 250 feels a little bit more agile, a little bit more playful, a little bit more nimble. It's like difficult to, to really describe. This is right where the 250 is in its element. It, you know, with the free revving motor, awesome suspension, well balanced. Third gear, fourth gear is magic on this bike. So I'm with Kyle. For this trip, the win goes to the 250 for sure. Yeah, and it's, I mean, you guys know how much we've praised the, the 300s. I love the 300. Um, but out here in the desert, last week I was in the desert, this week I'm in the desert, and both times I think the 250 has a little bit of an edge as far as just the fun factor. It's a little bit more nimble, it's a little bit more playful, it's easier to stay up on top of whoops just with the way that the motor is, you know, delivers the power. So, 250. Okay, I've just done a section of this desert single track there on the, on the 300 and then flipped around coming down here on the 250 just to see one of the things that sam and i were talking about is it does kind of seem like the 250 rewards you for pushing it harder rewards you more for pushing hard but it isn't to say that the 300 doesn't want to be pushed or can't be pushed hard and give you give you a lot it can it's just that this one begs you to push it harder the 250 and has maybe slightly better rewards for doing so if you guys find a good deal on a on a KTM 250XC and you're uncertain, go for it. I mean, honestly, the 250XC is kind of like a, a, a good little secret that uh, not that many people know about. <laughs> Absolutely. I've ridden them for years and our buddy Scott rides them and Scott prefers them over the 300. And like with this trip, I'm with Kyle. I prefer the, the 250 over the 300 out here in the desert stuff because it's just so fun. And if you can pick one up for a better deal, to me, I, I really think it's a it's a steal. It's such a good two-stroke. Now, if you're gonna start at the bottom of a hill like this, where it's a pretty steep hill, you're gonna have a little bit of an advantage on the 300 because I was able to just grab a gear and literally wheelie up that. Um, but you may not have that same experience on the 250. Now I'm gonna go try it again. Get to the bottom of this hill. Start in first and immediately click into third, or I mean into second, and just see how it pulls. Powered up the hill. I want to see if the 250 can do that. So here's second gear. Immediately, or there's second. More than enough power. Maybe doesn't have quite the hit coming up that, but there was there was definitely enough to enough to do it. But I did think. That at the bottom of that hill, that bike did better. When I shifted into second at the bottom of this hill, there was a touch of hesitation. Whereas on that bike, it was just go boom. It was flying up it. 
yeah, it, uh, it's pretty phenomenal. So if you like what we're doing here, please remember to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with your friends, and until next time, we'll see you later. Front end on both bikes, really light. That thing, the 300 does love to be pushed as well. I just think that the, when you're pushing the 250 through stuff like that, you get a slightly better payoff. Um, it, Cause this thing, this thing is begging you to push it where that one, it's like, okay, you can push me and, and I'll, I'll perform. But this one is, is begging you to do it, right? Absolutely. And, and I feel like when you were pushing it with the power when you need the power, the way the power is delivered with this is easier to get stay in a good flow. On the 250, on you're the saying. 250. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.